Okay, we now arrive at the Klein 16 group, which we have not presented yet on the Hidden Structures channel, but it is simply a generalization of the Klein 4 group to a set of 16 elements. The pairwise transpose, the 50% cut, and the packet reversal are the same physical shuffles except for the fact that there are 16 elements to work with this time, instead of just four or instead of just eight. And these three shuffle permutations generate the entire Klein 16 group, which has an order of eight. And here are all of the elements of the Klein 16 group. And it is isomorphic to the direct sum of Z2 with Z2 with Z2. And the Cayley graph for the Klein 16 group is as follows, where we've abbreviated the eight permutations by just taking the first two cycle within their representation and abbreviated the pairwise transpose by the letter T, the 50% cut by the letter C, and the packet reversal by the letter R, and we obtain the following Cayley graph. So what CMA structures does the Klein 16 group preserve? Well, we will consider the following set of 30 CMA sequences of order 16, consisting of eight zeros and eight ones. Vertical bars are used only to draw attention to the internal symmetry of each sequence, and an extra space between blocks of four digits improves readability. The sequences come in complementary pairs that have been stacked one above the other. A complementary pair can also be referred to as a sequence and its inversion. The 15 pairs of CMA sequences of order 16 fall into eight CMA structure types that are preserved by any number or combination of a pairwise transpose, a 50% cut, or a packet reversal. I should mention here that the 50% cut is equivalent to a Charlier 1 shuffle. And if you've seen that shuffle done before, it is a very convincing shuffle. But nonetheless, it is equivalent to just a simple 50% cutting of the cards. Similarly, a packet reversal is equivalent to a shuffle that I've referred to as the first shall be last and the last shall be first, abbreviated F, L squared F, which is also a far more convincing way to quote, mix a packet of cards that in the end is equivalent to a simple packet reversal. So here are the eight CMA structure types. O, 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 S, O, O, O S O O O S and S O O O S S S O S and S S S. Something interesting happens in the last case. There's only one complementary pair of S S S CMA sequences, which is rather curious given the completion of this table that results in two sets of pairs for each of the other CMA structures. You may recognize a quasi-Bessie sequence in this table of order 16. It's the following. It's an OSO. So if you've watched the videos dealing with quasi-Bessie sequences, you'll recognize the top pair 1001010110110101 and its inversion found below it 
So those two together constitute what are called quasi-Bessy sequences of order 16, whereas the pair below does not. So in the study of Bessy sequences and quasi-Bessy sequences, this top pair right here is extremely important. And as a second reminder of how to decipher the notation, the naming convention for CMA structures using letters S and O is based on the following order. The C up here in CMA stands for cyclic, the M stands for mirrored, and the A stands for AMP. So in particular, an SOO CMA structure tells us that each CMA sequence in that category is cyclic relative to the same value, it's mirrored relative to the opposite value, and it's an AMP relative to the opposite value, as we can see above. And finally, here is a chart that gives the full generalization of the Klein N group, V sub N. So V sub 4, of course, is the traditional Klein 4 group, which is isomorphic to the direct sum of Z2 with itself, and it has order 4. V sub 4 N, for any natural number N, is isomorphic to the direct sum of Z2 with Z2 with Z2 and has order 8. And V sub 2M is isomorphic to the dihedral group of order 4M, where it's important to note that the assumption here is that 2M is not divisible by 4. This gives rise to the following table. As always, there are three generating elements for the Klein N group, where it's important to note that the Klein N group is only defined for even values of N. And here I give the isomorphic group structures for each, the order of the group, and the underlying set on which the pairwise transpose, the 50% cut, and the packet reversal are based. Here we have the Klein 4 group, its group structure, its group order, and its underlying set of elements. V6, which is isomorphic to the dihedral group of order 12, and the underlying set is 1 through 6. Here's V8, which we've seen on this channel already. It's isomorphic to the direct sum of Z2 with itself three times. Its order is 8, and its underlying set of elements is 1 through 8, and so forth. Here is V16, which we just now looked at, which is isomorphic to the direct sum of Z2 with itself three times. Its order is 8, and the underlying set of elements is 1 through 16. So this gives a complete list of all of the group structures that come from generalizing the Klein 4 group in the way that we have generalized it on this channel. And once again, it's summarized as above. So here is the full description of all Klein N groups, where N is any even number larger than or equal to 4. And I should mention that each of these groups have unique preservation properties relative to CMA sequences and CMA structures. And among many interesting features, you'll notice that the Klein N group, where N is a multiple of 4, always has order 8. Whereas, for every other even value of n, the group structure of the Klein N group becomes arbitrarily large, as indicated on the bottom line here. So that's all I wish to share regarding the generalization of the Klein 4 group. 
to ever larger, even size sets of objects. And I'm confident there is much to explore among these generalized expressions of the Klein 4 group. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Hidden Structures channel. And if you're into group theory, I have a playlist devoted to group theory and math card magic.